KB Chemicals is an American company specializing in the production of chemical compounds used during various types of subterranean excavation projects. Established in 2008 during the heart of the recession, KB was able to mitigate risk by targeting customers in the Middle East, Australia, and Asia where their products proved to be in high demand. As the recession subsided in 2013, the U.S. construction industry began to regain its footing. This rejuvenated domestic market, coupled with their established international presence, has led to advancement of skilled employees within the organization as well as necessitated the hiring of additional field agents. These new managers must be equipped with specific skills that allow them to motivate new employees. Jordan Balford's tenure with KB has spanned the company's existence. A comprehensive understanding of the industry and self-motivated employees have made Jordan successful with a passive managerial style. While this approach has worked for Jordan up until now, it does not seem to be working for his newly promoted supervisor, Donnie, as Jordan recently received some negative feedback about Donnie's performance as a supervisor. Donnie Darko has been the lead technical expert at KB for five years and has excelled in every assignment given to him. Jordan recently recognized Donnie's hard work and dedication to KB by promoting him to a supervisory role. While Donnie appreciated the promotion, he enjoyed the technical roles much more than he has the supervisory role. Donnie feels awkward as a mentor and doesn't think he has the skills needed to be a good teacher. Therefore, he hasn't devoted much time to coaching his employees. Mary Swanson was hired as a chemical engineer at KB three months ago, straight out of college, and was placed on Donnie's team. After months of asking for help and instruction, Mary realized Donnie had no interest in being her supervisor, or anybody's supervisor for that matter. Tired of doing the easy jobs like making copies, and worried that she wouldn't excel in the company without better guidance, Mary has complained to Jordan that Donnie isn't doing his job. Jordan still has confidence that Donnie can become a great supervisor with a little motivation, and has scheduled a meeting with Donnie today to discuss his performance. Let's listen in and see how it goes. Come in. Hey, Donnie, how you doing? Hey, good. You wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have a seat. All right. You having a good day so far? Yeah, so far. Good. How about you? Uh, it's going all right. Uh, Mary came to see me earlier today. Yeah. Um, she's unhappy. Okay. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know why. Um, I, I don't know either. What did she say? Nothing. Just she just seems unfulfilled in her current job. Uh, and she didn't really give any reason why. I was hoping you could tell me. No, I, I don't. I don't know of anything that would be wrong with her. Well, something's wrong. Um, you kind of need to figure it out since she's your responsibility, your employee. I, okay. So did she didn't give you an example of anything? <laughs> yeah, I thought she may have some solutions. You need to get married to quit bringing her problems to me. This is a construction company. We're not babysitters here. No, I, I understand that, but I, I've never had any kind of training on how to deal with people like this. I'm a technical person. That's why you hired me. Well, Donnie, you're going to learn something. Sometimes you just got to learn on the fly. It's, it's just sometimes that's the way you got to solve problems, and I think this is a perfect example of that. Okay, so is there something, some kind of goals we can set to measure? I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm going to let you decide. Like I said, I think this is a perfect time where you need to learn on the fly and figure out things for yourself. Donnie, you're not a field agent anymore. You're a supervisor. I'm counting on you to have the skills like communicating with others, establishing relationships that are needed to thrive in this position. I mean, I'm sick of Mary coming and talk to me almost to the point where I'd be willing to give you a bonus if she quit, doesn't come to talk to me and bring any of her complaints to me by the end of the month. I understand. Donnie, I know you feel overwhelmed, but... And I'm more comfortable doing the more technical aspects of the job, too, but with this promotion comes more responsibility, man. S what, hey, what is it you expect from me? I mean, I don't have time to answer any more questions. I gotta go to this meeting. I'm, I'm already late. Hey, you have a second? Hey, Donnie, come on in. Hey, all right. I just want to talk to you about, um, see if Mary's done anything different. We talked about a bonus uh, a while back. That whole Mary situation. Yeah. Yeah, I, had, I hadn't seen her in about a month. Uh, I guess we owe you some money, huh? Uh, well, I guess, so one of the things I want to talk to you about is instead of the money, could we maybe change some assignments that I'm working on? Well, we agreed on the money, so we're just going to do that. Okay, I understand. 
Yeah. Hey Mary, how's it going? It's going pretty good. And the new job? Well, Jordan had to bribe my supervisor just to talk to me. It just doesn't seem fair that he gets a bonus for doing his job. Huh. In the wrong way scenario, Donnie asked for direction in how to resolve the problem. Instead of helping Donnie set goals that are specific, consistent, challenging, and participative, Jordan told Donnie to figure out the problem himself. Donnie was clearly overwhelmed and demotivated and needed more guidance than this. Okay, so is there something, some kind of goals we can set to measure? I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm going to let you decide. Like I said, I think this is a perfect time where you need to learn on the fly. Jordan should have helped look for obstacles that were in the way of Donnie's performance. And when Donnie himself acknowledged that he faced obstacles with management and communication skills, Jordan should have helped Donnie make a plan to strengthen those skills. Instead, he brushed off Donnie's insecurities and told him to figure it out himself. No, I, I understand that, but I, I've never had any kind of training on how to deal with people like this. I'm a technical person. That's why you hired me. Well, Donnie, you're going to learn something. Sometimes you just gotta learn on the fly. In the heat of the moment, Jordan selected the first behavior shaping strategy he thought of, rather than considering what would increase or decrease the behavior and motivate Donnie the most. It is clear that Donnie misses his technical work and longs to get back involved in challenging projects. Donnie has never asked Jordan for a raise or promotion, therefore Jordan should have figured out that satisfying work was much more salient to Donnie than money. Jordan also should have chosen a strategy that can be consistently applied over time. Unfortunately, Jordan chose a one-time reward that would be better tied to finishing a specific task, which will not help motivate Donnie in the long run. Being a good supervisor is not something you perform just once. I mean, I'm sick of Mary coming to talk to me, almost to the point where I'd be willing to give you a bonus if she quit, doesn't come to talk to me and bring any of her complaints to me by the end of the month. It is clear that Donnie misses his technical work and longs to get back involved in challenging projects. Donnie has never asked Jordan for a raise or promotion, therefore Jordan should have figured out that satisfying work was much more salient to Donnie than money. I guess we owe you some money, huh? Uh, well, I guess, so one of the things I want to talk to you about is instead of the money, could we maybe change some assignments that I'm working on? Well, we agreed on the money, so we're just going to do that. Okay, I understand. Donnie needed Jordan to specifically identify the behavior he needed to change. Instead, Jordan blamed Mary for the problem without explaining how Donnie was involved. Uh, okay, so did, she didn't give you an example of anything? In order to emphasize the importance of the problem, Jordan should have helped Donnie see how Mary's performance and satisfaction was impacting the business. Instead, Jordan blames Mary for being part of the problem, which will not help motivate Donnie to work with her. You're asking me what you need to do? Yeah, I thought she may have some solutions. You need to get Mary to quit bringing her problems to me. This is a construction company. We're not babysitters here. To effectively solve the problem, Jordan would have brainstormed with Donnie what the causes and potential solutions were to improving his management skills. Instead, Jordan blames Donnie for being the problem without offering any solution. Jordan still has not given Donnie specific examples of what is wrong, what Donnie needs to do to change, or what the expected outcome is. With such unclear guidance, Donnie will hardly know if he has been doing what Jordan wants, therefore will not be motivated to change. Okay, so is there something, some kind of goals we can set to measure? I mean, I don't, I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm going to let you decide. Like I said, I think this is a perfect time where you need to learn on the fly and figure out things for yourself. Jordan does not ask Donnie to comply or listen to feedback in a way that would encourage participation from Donnie. Instead, he simply tells Donnie he must figure it out, leaving no other option. Instead of ending on a supportive note, Jordan leaves in a hurry, which implies that Donnie is less important than other things Jordan has to do. Hey, what is it you expect from me? I mean, I don't have time to answer any more questions. I gotta go to this meeting. I'm, I'm already late. Jordan never checks back in with Donnie, leaving it up to Donnie to do the follow-up. In this conversation, Jordan does not provide any useful feedback, leaving Donnie just as unmotivated to change as when they first met. In addition, the timing of Donnie's reward should have been tied to successful completion of goals. Since Jordan never set specific goals and failed to follow up, he finally assumes Donnie has changed and gives him the bonus anyway. That whole Mary situation. Yeah. Yeah, I, had, I hadn't seen her in about a month. Uh, I guess we owe you some money, huh? 
Donnie's co-workers can't help but notice the inequity that Donnie was never punished for doing a poor job, but now has been given a bonus simply for doing his job at all. The reward was unfair to Donnie's co-workers, who now feel under-rewarded. It just doesn't seem fair that he gets a bonus for doing his job, huh? Come in. Hey. Hey, Donnie, how you doing? Have I'm a seat. Good, thank you. I'm gonna leave your door open. It's really hot. That's fine. All right. So what's going on? Uh, well, one of your employees, Mary, uh, came to talk to me. Um, she just, she doesn't seem very happy, and I, I, quite frankly, I don't think she's getting the proper training. Oh, okay. Did she mention anything that was happening? An example of something? Okay. Let me, before we go there, let me start by saying that I know that you're probably more comfortable doing the technical aspects of the job. Sure. But, you know, the reason that I promoted you is because I have confidence in you that you can handle the managerial role and mm -hmm. the relationship with others and the interpersonal communication skills. Um, so, I just want you to know that I have total confidence in you. Uh, but, Mary's too talented to be handling stuff like making copies and not being up to speed with the actual job responsibilities, the technical aspects of the job. And because of that, I think that other members of the team are having to bite off more than they can chew, and it's they're getting frustrated, and as a result, the projects that they're supposed to be handling are, are getting our clients late. Okay, I understand, but what, what do you suggest I do to help Mary? Well, I think we should lay out a plan where we get Mary up to speed in all aspects of her job, especially the technical portion. Okay, no, I, I agree. I just, I think, you know, I'm much more prone to technical stuff. I'm not very good with the people stuff. Yeah, I understand your comfort level is a lot higher with the technical aspect, but over time, and by having meetings like this consistently, I think that you'll overcome that uncertainty and you'll be a lot more confident in dealing with these kind of situations. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. Okay. Donnie, one of the things I wanted to accomplish in this meeting was uh, set a few goals for you. Sure. Um, and the first one was uh, set, set up some PMIs for you and your team um, to conduct from now until the end of the quarter. How does that sound? No, that sounds good. Um, what, what is a PMI, though? Uh, PMI stands for Personal Management Interview. Um, it's a great way to get feedback from your employees as well as for you to give feedback to them. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, and another goal was uh, to get Mary up to speed in those chemical analysis reports. Uh, mm -hmm. She's not quite proficient enough in those, and I think that should be top priority. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I can do that. How does, so these goals sound good to you? You got any questions? Anything I need to clarify? No, those sound reasonable. I think um, the only thing I would ask is I, I've never had any formal management training, and obviously I'm not very good at it. I'm much better with technical aspects. Um, is there some management training you could send me to? Oh, yeah, we can definitely go over some options. Okay, thank you. Donnie, when I was in your position... Um, I found that my weakest area of management was my ability to communicate with my subordinates. Mm. So my manager and I sat down in a meeting just like the one we're having right now and we went over all of our options as far as what I could do to improve in that skill. Well, we ended up deciding on a management communications training course and I ended up going to it and God did it make a difference. I mean, it worked wonders. And I really think that it would increase your comfort level if you did something like that. How does that sound? That, that sounds great. I think that's exactly what I need. I think so, too. We, we'll get you signed up right away. Awesome. Once we get Mary up to speed and you get done with that training course, we're about to launch a new project that has a ton of technical work that I know you love to do. So we would love to have you on that, and I think you would be a really valuable member of that team. Yeah, no, that's great. As, I mean, as we've talked about before, I really enjoy the technical aspects of, of, of this job more than so than the people aspects. But that said, I think going to the course and getting married up to speed will help with my management skills. I'm glad you see it that way. I think it's going to be a great um, great practice, if you will, you know, uh, getting dealing with others and yeah. uh, strengthening that relationship with your subordinate. Yeah, absolutely. I think this has been a very productive meeting. We've addressed all kinds of issues from communicating with our coworkers, uh, building relationships, and we even implemented a plan for the future. Um, I'd, all, I'd be all for having meetings like this on a regular basis going forward. Yeah, I, I, would, I would like that. 
does any topic that we've discussed here today um, strike you as confusing? Does anything seem too challenging or not challenging enough? No, I, I think everything we talk about seems reasonable, and I, I just appreciate you giving me a chance to prove myself and to, to better myself. Donnie, let me take the time to say that I have the utmost confidence in you, and I, I want you to be in the role that you're in. I, think, I couldn't think of a better person to have that job, and I, th I know you're going to do great. I don't look at this as an obstacle. I look at it more as a test along the way to you doing great things here yeah. at KB. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. I'll see you in two weeks. Sounds good. Come in! Hey Donnie, how you doing? Hey Jordan, doing well. Yourself? Good, good, good. I just wanted to check in with you and see how everything's going with your team. Yeah, things are going well. Um, so I went to the, the communications course that you sent me to last week, and since then I've implemented the PMIs with my team, and I've started meeting with Mary in addition to that, so we can start going over those reports that we discussed. Um, so I think things are going much better. Have you heard anything from any, any of my team? I have not, but uh, that's great to hear, and uh, I never doubted you for a second. Good, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to go, and I think, uh, I think things are going much better. I think they are, too. Um, and with that, with the improvement that you made among your team, I would like to say that uh, I think we're going to add you to the new project that, where we can definitely use all your technical skills. Awesome. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, that's, those are things that I enjoy, so I appreciate it. I can't wait to see the success you have, Donnie. Thank you. Hey Mary, how's it going? It's going good. Good. How's the new job? It's going great. Donnie and I are communicating a lot better now. Good. And my my caseload has really managed out a lot and I'm able to tackle the tasks that I wanted to that I couldn't before. I heard Donnie's on a new project too. He is. He's starting more technical projects since I can manage more of the workflow. Wow, sounds like a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. In the right way, Jordan showed he had taken an active approach to motivating and encouraging Donnie to become a successful manager by coming up with a few goals to help Donnie succeed. The goal to set weekly PMIs was specific, measurable, time-bound, and participative. The other goal of training Mary on the chemical analysis report was also specific and measurable. By asking for Donnie's feedback on the goals, Jordan can ensure Donnie is engaged. Donnie, one of the things I wanted to accomplish in this meeting was uh, set a few goals for you. Sure. Um, and the first one was uh, set, set up some PMIs for you and your team um, to conduct from now until the end of the quarter. How does that sound? When Donnie expressed his low confidence in managing others, Jordan acknowledged this obstacle and offered up real solutions. He is helping Donnie overcome his weakness by allowing him to enroll in the communication skills course, which had proven successful in Jordan's career. Well, we ended up deciding on a management communications training course, and I really think that it would increase your comfort level if you did something like that. How does that sound? That, that sounds great. I think that's exactly what I need. Jordan had to make the choice between four behavior-shaping strategies. Jordan's job here is to identify whether he wants to increase the behavior or decrease the behavior. Instead of just jumping on the first option he can think of, as he did in the wrong way, Jordan takes the time to consider the alternatives and select a reward that will increase the management behaviors he is hoping to instill in Donnie. Once we get Mary up to speed and you get done with that training course, we're about to launch a new project that has a ton of technical work that I know you love to do. The key to this behavioral guideline is to know your employee well enough to be able to select the appropriate reward or noxious stimulus. In this instance, Jordan applied a reward because he realized the most salient reward for Donnie's motivation isn't money, but getting back to the technical work Donnie has always thrived in. Jordan satisfied Donnie's need for affiliation by placing him on a highly desirable team and chose a reward that would be frequently applied and consistently applied instead of a one-time reward. Donnie, I'll tell you what, we're about to launch a pro project that's right up your alley. I mean, it's full of a ton of technical work that I know you really love to do. If you can get Mary up to speed by the end of the month, I got a spot on the team with your name on it. That sounds awesome, yeah. Jordan gave specific examples of situations where Donnie has not been successful. When giving these examples, Jordan made sure he pointed out how it was not person related, but problem related. Mary's too talented to be handling stuff like making copies and not being up to speed with 
the actual job responsibilities, the technical aspects of the job. And because of that, I think that other members of the team are having to bite off more than they can chew. It was important for Jordan to make sure that once he gave the example, that he explained how the issue was impacting the business and discussed causes and potential solutions with Donnie. Jordan recaps what his expectations are for Donnie. He also reiterates the goals they discussed to ensure the expectations were understood by both parties. Instead of demanding compliance from Donnie, Jordan encourages a two-way discussion to see if this is a good approach. Does any topic that we've discussed here today um, strike you as confusing? Does anything seem too challenging or not challenging enough? No, I, I think everything we talked about seems reasonable, and I, I just appreciate you giving me a chance to prove myself and to, to better myself. In order to end the meeting on a good note, Jordan reiterates the good work Donnie has done in the past, and how they really look forward to his long-term success at the company. He also tries to build Donnie's confidence by telling him he would not have been selected for this position if he didn't think Donnie had it in him. Donnie, let me take the time to say that I have the utmost confidence in you, and I, I want you to be in the role that you're in. I, think, I couldn't think of a better person to have that job, and I, th I know you're going to do great. I don't look at this as an obstacle. I look at it more as a test along the way to you doing great things here yeah. at KB. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. In their scheduled follow-up meeting, Jordan was very open and honest with the progress Donnie was making. Instead of Jordan showing frustration and just owing Donnie money, he acted as a manager and took his time to point out all the successes and progress that Donnie had made. This allowed Donnie to know he was being rewarded because he met the goals set out for him. This will help motivate Donnie to perform at this level in the future. Um, and with that, with the improvement that you made among your team, I would like to say that uh, I think we're going to add you to the new project that, where we could definitely use all your technical skills. Donnie's coworkers see his work on the new project as a fair reward for increased performance. It shows the other staff that management pays attention to their strengths and working preferences. All parties feel equity in this win-win situation. I heard Donnie's on a new project too. He is. He's starting more technical projects since I can manage more of the workflow. Wow, sounds like a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm.